Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Mark Savant from Florida. Hi Mark, how are you doing? Maher, I'm excellent. I'm really great to, uh, I'm really glad to be here for, with you. Thank for you for being here. I follow you on your platform and I see great interviews you do. And now I think that it's the right time to ask you some questions. So you'll be on the other side of the, of the seat. Uh, so Mark is uh, on, his, on his LinkedIn, he says, if you don't have a digital brand, you don't exist. It doesn't have to be complicated or take a lot of time and he can help. So my first question for you is, we know that recruiters, when, get, when they get any resume, they automatically check the candidate on LinkedIn, which is the digital platform or digital presence for them. But for some international students or new immigrants to Canada or even to the US, they don't know how to use it. So first, why it's important to have a personal brand and or digital presence and how they can start. Yeah, so really important, really important point, right? Your digital presence matters and it matters more every single day. You may have heard of this thing called the metaverse and NFTs. Like there's yeah. a reason why it's popular. It's because we're spending more and more time on the internet. I read a stat the other day, just this morning actually, that you spend 100 days each year on this thing, on your smartphone. Wow. 100 days. It's something like over six hours a day, right? Yeah. Your digital presence matters, okay? And to answer your question, your second part of your question, how do you get started? Mm -hmm. Well, you start by making content and you want to make content, Meher, based on what you want to be known for, Okay. right? You know, and so I think a lot of people will post content like, you know, this is where I grew up or this is what I was doing five years ago mm -hmm. or even this is the job that I'm doing now. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying that that's necessarily incorrect, but when you're creating content for social media, you want to make the content that you want to be known for. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, if you're trying to get hired or get a job or get accepted to a university or something like that, you want to reverse engineer it, right? You want to be empathetic. You want to understand the people that I want to speak to, yeah. what do they care about? Mm -hmm. What's important to them? You know, if you're trying to find, uh, you know, a, a partner online, what does my partner care about? Do they care about my intellect? They care about that I'm in the gym every day. Yeah. You know, so focusing on what they care about and what I want to be known for and, and marrying those together, that's really the, the core of social media. Yeah. I lately see that a lot of people are saying, I read this article, these are my thoughts, what, are you, what do you think? Or sometimes they tag people, or if they are new immigrants, they can say their experiences they can share. Is that something okay to do? And is there in your system, like, is it daily, uh, once a week? twice a day. So is there a system or it all depends? Well, it, it, it does depend. I mm -hmm. mean, you want to be able to post as much as you can without losing your brain. Like, yeah. I don't know about you, but have you ever been up like at, you know, midnight, you're like, oh, I forgot to post yeah. my Instagram story today. Right. It's yeah. like, that's no good. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, being honest with yourself and, and hopefully scheduling out a calendar is really important. Mm -hmm. My, my real focus is on podcasting mm -hmm. and helping people create great podcasts. I have a mastermind program that's just starting to help. Yeah. Um, I, I run an agency that, you know, takes all of that off people's plate. But one, one of the reasons I love podcasting, Meher, um, is it checks off all the boxes, right? Mm -hmm. It allows you to create content based on what you want to be known for. It allows you to directly speak to the people that you want to speak to, but it also becomes the, the really the core of all the social media posts that you make, mm -hmm. you know, you know what I mean? Like, so for example, if you want to teach people how to be better at podcasting, you can, you can lay out and plan out your entire podcast episode. And throughout the week, you can create posts based on the research mm -hmm based on those topics to kind of supplement what you're doing. Yeah. Um, but COVID came and interrupted everything. So let's say yeah. if someone was a teacher and they're always posting things related to teacher and now they found themselves out of the job and they need to transition to new jobs. So mm -hmm. how can they make that transition then? Start from zero or talk about it? Yeah, well, you know, in a, in a perfect world, Meher, you're able to, you know, kind of find a way that your, your existing audience, your existing profession meshes with, you know, you're taking your previous experience and, 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 and putting that into a place that, 
um, that's relevant to your new job. Yeah. Um, so, so that's obviously a beautiful thing, but like, let's take LinkedIn, for example, mm -hmm. which by the way, I think that if you are creating content, you should really just only focus on one social media platform. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to, you know, do too much at too many places, you can kind of get lost in the sauce. Yeah. I, I heard this the other day. It's like drinking from a fire hose kind of, you know, you're just getting sprayed <laughs> with all. So <laughs> I think focusing on one platform is better. Yeah. Um, and if you're trying to get hired, LinkedIn is the place to be, right? Yeah. But the way that LinkedIn works when you're trying to be found by, um, uh, by recruiters or by employers, they're yeah. probably going to be there. You know, if you're trying to get hired at, let's say a marketing agency, mm -hmm. none of those people are going in and typing in high school teachers, right? Yeah. They're just not, they don't, that's, so you want to kind of brand yourself. You want to use keywords. Yeah. Um, you maybe want to change your specialties, mm -hmm. maybe you change your banner, yeah. right? Because you want LinkedIn to know and tell recruiters that Maher is into marketing. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you want to be found. Oh, okay. Those are great tips. Thank you, Mark. So for the audience watching for the first time, I'm going to ask Mark a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So you'll, can, you'll be kind of a journey with us. You can like all the videos, share your thoughts, share the videos. So tune in next time for other great questions with Mark.